I'm here painting for Baron Fig. I've known Baron Fig since 2013. When they started the company, it was through Kickstarter. I was on my laptop on Kickstarter and I wanted to support a notebook. I was house sitting with my wife at my mother-in-law's and it was really late at night. My wife had already gone to sleep and I was just randomly thinking about, I wanna support a Kickstarter. So I typed in a Kickstarter notebook because that's what I've been been needing. I wanted to try something else besides moleskin or moskine. Moskine. Maleskine. I wanted to try something new. So I typed it in and then this company came up and their video was well polished. It looked simple, looked like something that I could get behind. So I supported it. When I got the Baron Fig actually in the mail and I opened it up, it was it was sick. It was everything that I needed. And honestly, it's it's not hard to satisfy myself with a notebook. It just needs to be blank. It needs to be able to lay flat. And that's it. But I found myself loving the act of supporting somebody small because it felt like I was investing back into myself by choosing a company that reflected more of my values as opposed to something larger than that, something that everybody else had. Malaskai! I also felt more like an individual because I was using a notebook that other people didn't have. So I immediately felt a kinship. I was using their notebooks, like I kept buying some more and I would fill them up and post them online and the team would interact with me. I had the opportunity to come out to New York in 2014. So back to 2013, came to New York, August 2014, I pitched them on the idea. What do you think of me doing a mural in your office? And Joey and Adam really were really cool. They were like, we're, we're down for that. We're down for something like that, but we're, we're probably going to be moving. Can you do it on canvas? And so I said, yeah. And that's what these guys are. That's what these things are. These are the first real branded things that I did for a company. And it's crazy, this is, I think their third studio spot, second studio spot, but I think they're also gonna be moving soon. The fact that these have stayed the course, have kept being a part of it is really cool. And then also on that trip, while I was with them, I proposed the idea, I've always wanted to do some sort of project where I walk around the city, uh, get people to engage with the work. And that was when I created the book board project, which is right here in their office too. I mean. I'm just all over it. And that was also when I was doing the moniker Art of Wend. You can see right here, Art of Wend. So it's just like Jeff Govea history up in here. Just all the history of my work. I told Joey that it was coming out. I offered to buy him some tickets to the NYCFC game because I just wanted to spend some time with him. I really like the way he thinks about design and philosophy, they take so much care into everything they do. And he said, you know what, actually, I can't do that because we're doing a pop-up shop, but what I can do is I'd like for you to paint something else in the studio. We have an old tabletop that you need to revamp so we can turn it back into a table and it'll be like a statement piece in the studio. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So I'm doing that today and I should finish up tomorrow. It's a, it's a quick piece, it's a real small tabletop and it'll be, it'll be fun. It, it reflects my ethos on, on Bear Fig, but I'll explain that tomorrow. I'm gonna get cracking, because I have a lot to do, and then I gotta go meet up with my brother, because he moved to New York. We're gonna get some dinner. 